Okay, I'm here with Dr. John Jennings with the uh, University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture. And John's a specialist in forage. And John, we've got six, seven months in a row where we've had, you know, above normal rainfall. We're in the middle of winter right now, but we're gonna be coming up on the traditional spring rainy season. What effect, if any, right now is that having on forage for cattle? Well, as you mentioned with the, all the rain that we've had through the fall and the winter, that has really delayed growth on a lot of our forages. Uh, we did have uh, a fairly good stockpile of Bermuda grass and pretty good stockpile of fescue. A lot of people that planted winter annuals, uh, those soils became saturated fairly quick. So the ones that did come up or the stands that established haven't grown well and others didn't establish well at all because it got so wet right after they planted. So we're in, a, we're in a situation right now where some of those stands are real skippy. And if we assess those fields and get out there and kind of do some stand counts and get an idea if they have enough po plant population, they could fertilize those as soon as ground conditions allow them, which right now things are just, it's just muddy everywhere. But as soon as the ground firms up enough and get some fertilizer on those, uh, some nitrogen and P and K by according to soil tests, and that should kick those in gear and should get them to make some decent spring growth, uh, even with the normal spring rain. But right now we are having abnormal rain and, and fields are saturated and we have a lot of puddles stand on and things like that. And that has uh, thinned out some stands. Clover, has, especially our volunteer clover, has not established well and some of it has drowned it out in places. The ryegrass tends to handle a little bit better. Some of the wheat and rye tends to handle it. The oats are fairly sensitive to it. Fescue will handle it. Uh, where it's not standing water. But if it stands for a continued period of time all through the spring, that's gonna delay the growth on those fields and, and uh, our spring pasture and hay season. So it's gonna depend on what we get from here on. Uh, hopefully it'll kind of settle down and be a little bit more of a normal, normal rainfall pattern. Um, I always say don't, you know, you can't plan what's gonna happen in 30 days weather-wise. And so we could be in perfect conditions in 30 days or you know, exact opposite of that. But go ahead and put a plan in place. You know, our spring forages, all our small grains, ryegrass, wheat and clover, uh, fescue should grow, start to grow in March on into April. So go ahead and make the plan for that uh, as long as you have a good populate, plant population out there. And if we get conditions, you're gonna hit a home run. If you don't plan for it and you say, well, it's too wet, well, then you're gonna be really behind the eight ball and have, be short on spring and very could, well could be short on summer pasture. Uh, our Bermuda grass fields right now, a lot of them are really filled up uh, with winter annual weeds like buttercup and little barley and things such as that. And as soon as field conditions allow before those Bermuda fields break dormancy, it'd be a good idea to get some uh, herbicide on it like glyphosate or something to knock those winter annuals out and let that Bermuda grass go ahead and, and uh, come up when it has the temperature conditions to do that. Uh, these wet years like this are really bad for buttercup uh, pro problems. And if we don't take care of that now, the buttercups that are a half inch tall now will be, you know, two feet tall by the middle or late part of March. And that shades that Bermuda grass and will delay our spring growth or spring grazing or hay cutting by a month. And so that's what we run into. So if you don't take care of that, that's a big problem. So we need to take care of that. And even in fescue fields, there's some herbicides we can clean it up. We wouldn't use glyphosate in that case, but there's good other options. We can clean up some of those winter weeds make sure those fields will come into production when they should come into production, uh, give them every chance that they can have because they're gonna need some extra help this year. He is so. Dr. John Jennings with the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.